some of the results on the research program, yeah, yeah. okay? All right, well, in here we can see the dolphins all the time because we're doing research with them. And through that program, we know at least we have three families living inside the bay. The bay is huge, and that's why we're working just with one of those groups. And this group is around 100 dolphins. We're trying to discover most of the behavior on these dolphins. Like in here, they were playing football with a jellyfish here. They do sometimes crazy things like playing with, even with plastic bag or a piece of algae or whatever they find. They're very smart and they have a lot of free time. Them. They do crazy things like that. Well, part of their program is to discover all that behavior. And we start swimming with them and it's, kind of funny how we start, start swimming with wild dolphins. What's the reason for that? But I can explain you in a minute. And well, to start any research program with animals, the first thing we have to do is to identify individuals. In the case of a dolphins, it's very simple. We take a photograph of a dorsal thing, and each one is different, and the shape and scars. Even if they don't have those white markings, just the shape is enough to identify them. Like in here, you can see how different they can be. And well, photographs like next one, like this, it's very important because if we have the female with the baby in the same frame, we establish the relationship between them. And doesn't matter if a couple of years later they split, we know who's relative of whom. And that's the purpose of this, this research, is to uh, identify the social structure on this group. We give them names. It's kind of funny because normally they have a code and those are digital photographs in a special program on the computer. But we give them also names because it's easy for us to remember. In the case of this one, this one is Charlie. And well, we're working with Charlie for around five years. It was big, it was strong. They have some scars and sometimes he was alone. Then we assume it was a male. But three years ago, Charlie had a baby, and that's the reason why we start swimming with them, because in that way we can take another water camera and take a photograph of the genital area and the dorsal thing to identify if there are females or males, and that way we don't make the same mistake again. But even it's a little bit hard to do that, because sometimes it's not clear the water or the dolphins, they're not in a good position and it's impossible to take the photograph, then it's gonna take a long time anyway. And it happened twice. With Sierra, it happened the same thing. We thought it was a male, but no, it's a female. And it's one of the babies. It actually, it's one of the most successful females on the area because since we started the program nine years ago, she already has four babies. And all of them, they're alive. Them is very good. Their looks always like they're smiling. But it's just their face like that. They're not necessarily smiling. They can be very upset, and even they have the, the face like they're smiling, but no. And well, they can have babies on, on captivity. That's another, another point for the people who have those dolphins. They said it's a good thing. I don't think to have a baby there. For me, it's because in that way, if they have babies in captivity, they cannot catch more dolphins from the wild. They have enough dolphins in captivity to reproduce them there and to provide more dolphins for dolphinariums. They are already in captivity and it's impossible to release a baby who born in captivity to teach them how to be a, a, a real dolphin. It's impossible. Then it's okay, they stay over there, but don't try to release a dolphin like that. It happens like several times, like even a free willy movie, they try to release the, an orca and finally dies alone because it was very hard to, to adapt the orca who ever lives in captivity to a wild environment. It's not really possible. Then, 
the most important thing for me when they have babies here is because in that way they can guarantee they don't gonna catch more wild dolphins and that's important. The food, for example, the food is a little bit different in the case of uh, captive dolphins. For example, most of the people, they never realize why. If the dolphins, they are doing something good on captivity, they give them a fish and they take it. The reason is because they're always hungry. They don't feed them properly in order to force them to do whatever they want. That's why they have to add on their food some pecto pills because they have ulcera sometimes, not just because it's stressing to live there, but also because they don't feed them properly. They're they have those problems in the wild. I never see a dolphin going for Pepto. <laughs> That's another reason to live in on the wild. Well, normally a dolphin, a wild dolphin, can get around three kilograms of food daily in different ways. Not necessarily all of them they feed in in the same hour because it depends also where they find the fish. But as soon as they find a fish, they're trying to feed as much as they can. Them in here is not that they don't have that possibility because they give them just one every time they jumping or kissing a, a tourist or something like that. There in the wild they eat as much as they, they need and they, they finish and they move to the resting area. In here it's not the same. Well, they, they have different tanks. They have some, some tanks here for encounters. You, you can put just, just your, your legs in the water but don't, don't swim with them. And in some bigger tank, they can go and, and swim with them for, for a while. And for example, I take some people and, and babies, even babies, just a few months old to the ocean to swim with the dolphins, and I never had a problem. But if you're trying to go in the dolphin area, they're not going to leave you with children under 10 or something like that, because it could be dangerous for, for them. If the dolphins are not in, in good mood, they can push them and that's not nice. Eso es. 